Welcome to the Tesla News Summary of Wednesday, February 8, 2023. Cointelegraph. Tesla purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, BTC, in February 2021 and sold 75% of its remaining coins at a loss in July 2022. Despite the rebound of TSLA and BTC in 2023, Tesla is still 33% down on its remaining BTC stash, currently worth $225 million. Elon Musk has given considerable publicity to Dogecoin, Doge, since 2021 and recently revealed that payments on Twitter, which he purchased last year, could include cryptocurrency. Electric. Hertz announced in 2021 that it would be ordering 100,000 Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles to electrify its fleet of rental cars. The company expected to have all 100,000 Tesla vehicles by the end of 2022, however, they only had 48,344 Tesla electric vehicles by the end of the year. This has led to confusion as the company had also made a deal with Uber to offer its drivers access to 50,000 Tesla vehicles, and last month Hertz confirmed that nearly 50,000 Uber drivers had rented a Tesla through this program. On top of this, Hertz and Uber also announced a new deployment of 25,000 Tesla and Polestar EVs in Europe. It is unclear if the Uber program is accounted for on top of or alongside Hertz's fleet Tesla consumer rental. Latest news in Nigeria and breaking Niger news 24-7, legit, ing. Elon Musk is on the move to becoming the world's richest man again by earning $3.9 billion, N1.81 TRN, in one week, raising his total wealth to $188.1 billion, narrowing the wealth gap with Bernard Arno, the current richest man in the world with a net worth of $217.2 billion. Starting January 1st, Musk had a net worth of $136.9 billion, and with his remarkable recovery, he is expected to regain his position as the world's richest man in the next few weeks. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, Rabiu Abdul Samad is closing in on Aliko Dangote, the current richest man in Nigeria and is on track to overtake him. Check. West Shore RCMP have unveiled their first fully electric police cruiser, a Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y was chosen for its affordability and mild winter weather that is suitable for the area. The Model Y meets policing standards and will be used by frontline officers responding to calls for service, just like existing police vehicles already on the road. The cruiser is in compliance with the Canadian Net Zero Emissions Accountability Act, and the police expect to have cost savings due to the vehicle's electric charging capabilities. West Shore RCMP are also looking to the future, and are expecting to test two more electric vehicles in 2023. Oak Bay Police Department and police in Victoria and Saanich are also looking to go green. Last March, Cruise broke ground on a first-of-its-kind Tesla Center in Langford, set to open in 2023. CBC News. Recurrent, a Seattle-based firm, measured range loss in 7,000 EVs at temperatures between minus 7C and minus 1C they found that EVs can lose up to 30% of their range in freezing temperatures. This range loss is due to energy it takes to heat the cabin so it's comfortable for the driver and passengers. Steve Holmick, a Tesla Model Y driver, experiences up to 50% range loss in cold temperatures. He suggests preheating the car while it's still plugged in or using a fast charger to improve range loss. General Motors tests its new EVs at its Kapuskasing facility to ensure customers have the same performance experience as traditional gas-powered cars. GM is also constantly finding ways to improve EV battery range in extreme cold weather. This has been the Tesla News of Wednesday, February 8, 2023. The links to all cited articles are provided in the video description.